it's just starting to come out, so it's probably going to dry the track out. So it's going to be one of those intermediate uh, conditions, if you, if you know what I mean. So uh, it's always typical, um, sort of happens at British Superbikes, you know, so neither all wet or dry. So uh, yeah, we'll see the sun's just starting to break through now, starting to dry the track. So uh, yeah, hopefully this weekend we'll be uh, on the top step or if not some podium finishes, you know. It's, uh, we've only missed one round, so it's not the end of the day, it's, uh, it's the start of the season, so early days yet. I had a lot more pressure on me, I felt, in this qualifying session this weekend due to the fact of uh, crashing in the first qualifying session at Brands. You know, I didn't want to make the same mistake again, so you're trying to avoid the wet patches a few times. I went across the wet patches, I thought, this is all going to go wrong. But um, fortunately for us, um, yeah, we qualified on pole. It's a fantastic start to the weekend. The biggest shock for me when I went out of pit lane was almost going to be calling to the end of the, the, uh, the, the qualifying session. I forgot to put my earplugs in. A lot of people might think, you gotta stop whinging, you haven't got your earplugs either. But I tell you what, it, it is a massive, massive difference for getting them. And um, I, I, all I could hear was like my bike sounded like a bag of nails and uh, it sounded like a tractor. So uh, I just pushed on and thought, let's do what we need to do. And I come past in 15 2. I was like, well, that's not bad. And it, But then I start to think, what, would I, what could I have done with my earplugs and stuff in? But we had a, had, yeah, it's a good start to the weekend. Um, she needs to get some points in the bag tomorrow. There's a few other riders further on down. So. Uh, Muscle on and uh, try and get some good, good finishes tomorrow and get podium credits.